At the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to the main character who is a conference speaker. Ellie Mash is a 16-year-old student from San Diego who is also the best American junior tennis player. Her opponent, a Russian athlete named Katrina, is confident that she will be able to win because she hasn't lost since she was born. The championship begins and Ellie gains one victory after another. The girl's father, Dave Mash, congratulates her on each success. However, the man does not really like the fact that Ellie's friend Rebecca is present at the competition. The girl behaves quite flighty and does not quite understand what is happening. Together with Rebecca, the heroine walks around the training fields and talks about different teams and players. Suddenly Rebecca notices a cute guy and decides to interrupt his training for a photo. However, the guy is more interested in Ellie and he tells her his name for El Gumbles. The heroine calls him a turtle and advises him to do more footwork to keep up with the ball. She has to almost forcefully take Farrell's charmed Rebecca off the field. The guy offers to play together sometime, but Ellie reacts skeptically. After that, the heroine goes to practice with her father. Rebecca gets bored, and Dave allows his daughter to take the girl home and then return to prepare for the match. However, in reality, Rebecca wants to go to the local swimming pool. There the girls once again meet Farrell and then watch him play. Unexpectedly, Katrina approaches Ellie, advising her to change the nickname Punchy to Chop. The girl is sure that Ellie will win and behaves extremely caustic. The heroine makes it to the semi-finals and hears about Katrina's harsh methods of playing. The kids start getting autographs from Ally. However, upon spotting Katrina, they immediately rush over to her. Finally comes the final match. Dave is visibly nervous sitting in the stands. The man is shocked by Rebecca's appearance and forbids her to yell, yuck, e when Katrina is announced. Ellie notices Pharrell on the first podium, but pretends not to care. The heroine tries to pull herself together before a difficult and responsible fight. Katrina serves first. Ellie misses the ball, but Dave advises her to just relax and pay attention. Heroine again misses balls, and the score is not in her favor. The stands are watching the game with interest. Ellie is nervous as her opponent's serves catch her off guard every time. During the break, Farrell supports the heroine, he is sure that she can cope. After that, Ellie manages to equalize the score. However, at some point the heroine stumbles because of the new advertising sneakers and badly twists her foot. Her father takes her away from the field and Farrell is worriedly watching. Meanwhile, Katrina echidically celebrates her victory. At home, Dave assembles a whole team of specialists so his daughter can get back on the court and get her revenge. The specialists include a yoga instructor, a sports psychologist, a music therapist and an endurance specialist. On the court, Ally is supported by Red. The guy thinks that Katrina with her inhuman serves is a man and she should have changed opponents. This amuses the heroine and helps her to relax. Suddenly, Farrell approaches Ellie. He thanks her for her advice and asks her to study with him for a while. It is important for Farrell to get into the junior league to then go to college. Ellie thinks his eagerness is commendable, but replies with a smile that she has a lot on her plate. Music therapy goes weird and uncomfortable. Ellie insists that she loves loud music, but it doesn't help. The heroine complains to her yoga instructor and part-time mom, Margot Mash. However, the woman is busy training and asks Rebecca to keep Ellie busy for a while. The friend brings the heroine to the shopping center. Rebecca thinks that it is abnormal for a teenager to be interested only in sportswear, training programs and rackets. Ellie agrees to help her friend in the diner and puts on a hot dog costume. Farrell notices her in this outfit and grinningly remarks that she has important things to do. Rebecca is suddenly approached by Dave, who is looking for his daughter. Ellie tries to hide, but the guy in the pizza suit won't let her into his territory. Meanwhile, Pharrell and his friends are desperately trying to divert Dave's attention to themselves. Ellie feels obligated and agrees to start training the guy. The heroine's training sessions are pretty tough, but effective. In addition, Ellie supplies them with various motivational quotes from famous people. Pharrell trains on the beach, pumps abs and trains endurance. The guy offers to eat ice cream and discovers that Ellie has never tasted it. Dave shows up at the court and is angry that his daughter is socializing with a guy instead of getting her ankle treated. 
Ellie lies that the endurance specialist told her to work out with someone in pairs. Dave threatens Pharrell just in case, but believing his daughter leaves. The heroes head to the food court to eat ice cream. Pharrell shares his portion with a girl and saves her from the fans. They are watched by Rebecca. The next day, practice continues. Ellie is surprised that the guy is not going to play tennis for life. Farrell, on the other hand, thinks that the heroine in vain is so fixed on the sport, which, perhaps, she cannot be engaged in because of injury. Ellie attends the guy's matches and gives him advice on the game. Massage and treatment of the ankle take place, as well as music therapy. Pharrell starts winning matches thanks to the lessons. Ellie misses the meetings with the psychologist and asks not to tell her father about it. Farrell passes into the fourth round of the tournament and the heroine follows his game from the stands. The guy manages to get to the semi-finals and he is sincerely happy about it. Farrell from the bottom of his heart thanks the heroine for her help, time and effort. The guy decides to invite Ellie on a date. However, at this moment Red brings bad news, Dave learned that his daughter stopped doing ankle treatment. The man is upset that Ellie is not preparing for a rematch and as if she has put her hands down. However, this does not change the heroine's decisions. Therefore, Ellie agrees to a date with a guy and says that she broke up with her instructors. Farrell decides to arrange an unusual surprise for the heroine. Because of training, she missed her prom and therefore the guy decided to recreate it as a gift and sincere gratitude for her help. Ellie is dressed up in a beautiful dress and makes a memorable photo. The heroine really likes the gift and such a strong attention to her and her wishes. Ellie thinks the guy is unpredictable, but she likes it. Pharrell says that it especially helps in tennis, because sometimes you have to do things that are not expected of you to win. Ellie thinks she's just like everyone else and thought she was a star for nothing. But Pharrell convinces her that she's special. The couple almost kiss, but that's when the basketball players come in. Pharrell takes the heroine in his arms and runs away. Ellie returns home in a high mood. But an unpleasant conversation awaits her there. Dave is angry that his daughter is doing absolutely nothing to heal her leg and is only spending time with Pharrell, which is essentially useless. These words upset Ellie and overshadow her joy. The heroine says that her father is the reason she gave up because he took her off the court and wouldn't let her wrestle. Dave admits that he realized that Ellie would lose and decided to prevent it. Father believes that one should play to win and everything else is the lot of losers. The semi-finals of the men's league are coming up. Rebecca notices that Farrell has more and more female fans. The fight is interesting and dynamic. Farrell manages to beat his opponent and he gets to the final. At the photo shoot of the finalists, Katrina thanks the guy for wishing him luck and kisses him, saying that this is the custom in her country. Ellie sees this and gets very upset. The heroine runs home and finally starts practicing. At the finals, Farrell is waiting for Ellie, but does not notice her in the stands. Because of this, the whole game does not go too well, the guy is too nervous because of the absence of the heroine and does not understand what is happening. Ellie, meanwhile, does her hair, buys an evening dress and shoes. The heroine goes to a party with the popular girls from school. Rebecca finds her there and is angry that Ellie betrayed their friendship by socializing with those who despise her. At home, the heroine feels broken. Her mother advises her not to forget the choice she always has. Ellie eats ice cream and says that she made a mistake, but now she knows how to make things right. The next day, the heroine comes to Farrell and says that she forgives him and must apologize herself. The guy says that he did not kiss Katrina, it was she who attacked him. Ellie realizes that she acted stupidly without asking about everything directly. The heroine makes a decision, she wants to continue her single career and play with Farrell in a pair. In addition, Ellie finds Rebecca and reconciles with her. The heroine applies for the doubles tournament. Dave is angry, as he's sure his daughter won't be able to succeed there and then because of her ankle. Heroine and Farrell make it to the semi-finals, in between practicing doing nice things and having fun. Ellie tries to have time to play in both doubles and singles tournaments. Together with Farrell, she advances to the finals. The game is tense, but because of this it is interesting. Ellie falls again, but Farrell wins the match and helps the girl up. Together they celebrate their victory. Farrell invites the heroine to the rides, but she refuses. 
Ellie hurts her leg but does not want to tell anyone about it. Dave notices this and asks to give up the tournament. The man says that his main victory was not some championship but the birth of Ellie. The heroine still promises to take the field and promises Katrina that she will definitely win. The match is very tense, the stands are watching closely. After a difficult period and Katrina serves, Ellie still starts to lead in the match. The heroine manages to defeat her opponent by studying her tactics and taking the unexpected position that Farrell was talking about. The stands are genuinely happy for the winner and Katrina recognizes that she had a worthy opponent. Margot stops Dave and asks him to keep out of the way. The heroine runs up to Farrell and kisses him. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.